I'm in the desert to put my body to the test. I face a free fall from 30,000 feet. In six seconds, I hit terminal velocity. It's impossible to fall any faster. Welcome to the Degree Men Adrenaline Lab. Today I'm talking with Jeff Wise, who's an expert on the science of fear and adrenaline. Everyone around the world thinks of you as the king of adrenaline. When you did the halo jump, what for you was the most emotionally unpleasant part of the whole experience? Well, I still find parachute jumps after all these years hard. You're exiting the aircraft about 33,000 feet. It's when we're climbing up to altitude in the plane. Heart rate goes higher. You know, I say my prayers. But then I find when that door opens, then I get very focused. OK, P minus two, two minutes to jump. And it's a great place to be. And I love that place. Because of the thin air, you're falling very, very fast, much faster than on a normal skydive, and you're 100% dependent on that oxygen. If that oxygen fails, you're unconscious, and then you can't deploy your own parachute. So in the halo jump, when for you did it become pleasure? It's pleasure when you open your parachute, you've got a full canopy above your head, and you're at an altitude where if your oxygen fails, you can breathe OK. So there we go. <laughs> when you first feel adrenaline, it can be quite overwhelming. Okay. Okay, come in. And I think as you do more of it and get more used to it, you learn how to manage that adrenaline and get it to work for you. Strong flare for landing. I like the quote that says it's not about the number of days in your life, it's about the amount of life in your days. Good job. <sighs> Green Men Adrenaline Series responds to increases in adrenaline when you sweat. It won't let you down.